Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'm going to go over my best medium and heavy tank designs for an AI game in Hearts of Iron 4 if you're playing as Germany. So let's get into it here. We're going to be using the 1940 uh, chassis here and I've built out the two different designs. The impetus behind this video is that transport planes last week are now doubly effective. Now, the first thing that you need to note is that you're gonna need more chromium if you go heavy tank. Uh, and that's the only resource difference that I see here. Uh, everything else is gonna be the same. Germany has access to chromium uh, if they take out Yugoslavia or they could trade with Turkey. So chromium for Germany is not really gonna be that big of an issue. And so here's gonna be the heavy tank design. And unfortunately, uh, the small cannon here, and I say unfortunately because this was used historically to minimal effect, but the small cannon is going to give you your best stats here. So I've loaded up this heavy tank design with small cannons so that we could get a higher soft attack rating. And the crux of this build, as I said, is this is an AI Germany tank design. Against the AI, you're going to be going up against mainly soft targets. The other thing that you need to note is that the AI will typically only build like medium tanks that have piercings of around 40, something in that area. The armor of this tank is going to be 55, but once we insert it into the template, that armor rating is going to go down and be around 40. So this literally like min maxes the tank build for the AI games just based on AI behavior. And I didn't come up with this. My discord and chat came up with this the other day uh, when we were testing this out. And you could see all these designs on my discord if you want to join my discord. But basically it min maxes what the AI's behavior is right now in Hearts of Iron 4. It's April 2023. So this maximizes soft attack and maximizes breakthrough. I actually have the main armament as medium cannon. If we change the turret type, it actually only hurts us. So the production cost goes up and breakthrough goes down. So why not use uh, the improved heavy cannon? That's because the improved heavy cannon increases heart attack and decreases soft attack, as you can see right there. And I would have to use the heavy turret type, which would decrease breakthrough and increase production cost. And let's go through the Panzer IV chassis here, the medium. So the main difference here between the medium chassis and the tank, the heavy tank chassis is the fact that you can only put two of the small cannons on the medium tank. So that's going to limit the amount of soft attack that you're going to be able to bring to the table. This is going to uh, obviously be filtered through your division template that we're going to see in a few minutes here. But don't take these stats here as gospel, because as soon as it's inserted into the division template, all these stats change. Just to give you an example, the medium tank division takes more medium tanks than the heavy tank division. And individually, if you look at the tank, the heavy tank regiment versus the medium tank, I think it's something like 40 heavy tanks in a regiment as opposed to 50 or 60 mediums. It's something like that. We'll take a look at that in a second. The things that I did here besides uh, because I'm not able to add more small cannons is I added a radio and I added extra ammunition storage. So that is going to increase the breakthrough rating there. Um, and that's really what I went for. If you take this off, you can see that the tank is no cheaper. The reliability goes up, but the breakthrough and the defense goes down. We still have the medium turret type, the still using the improved medium cannon. Uh, the soft attack is decent here at 42. The heart attack is still present at 26. Uh, piercing of 90. So the piercing is going to be the same as the heavy tank. And the bottom here is mainly uh, built the same. So what you get with the medium tank 1940 chassis is a higher reliability and a higher max speed. So the heavy tank max speed was five and a half. And this is 5.8. 
but you do get the extra like 9% reliability. So this is cheaper and more reliable. So less of them will break down. So let's see the production cost 24 as opposed to 15. So almost a 10 IC production cost difference, but that is going to be uh, weighted against the soft attack rating. Um, the, the soft attack of the heavy tank is going to be about 10 more. So let's go ahead and see how these stats extrapolate to the best division des designs that I can come up with for a Germany single player game. So let's start off with the heavy tank division design here. As you can see, we're using a light armored recon to get to light armored recon to fill this up all the way. You just need to conquer France and uh, just build the Panzer II with one mil on it from the beginning of the game. And you'll have all the light armored recon that you ever want. And then by war, you can take this off because you'll have like so many tanks, like light tanks in your stockpile. So very good to easy to get to and increases your stats a little bit. So we mainly do this to add stats to the tank template. We have engineer, we have AA. AA is going to turn away the opposing ground attack roll bombers and CAS, uh, and it will allow you to move much quicker uh, because it'll mitigate the effects of enemy air superiority. So this is a must, just having support AA. And logistics obviously will increase your movement in all these different terrain types, as well as it looks like it gives you a positive reconnaissance rating uh negative 20 percent supply usage and this should be researched at a logistics level two so if we remove that you can see the supply use goes up by about a point and a point is uh actually quite a bit about 100 transport planes gives you about a half a point of supply just to give you reference. So if you have 300 transport planes in the air, it's going to give you about one and a half points of supply use. And then you're stacking on all the other types of supply in that area, supply hubs, rails, uh, things of that nature. And then boom, you're good. This template here so far has a high soft attack rating. We have an armor rating at 41, so it's going to be able to stop most of the AI tank templates. And the piercing is at 68, so it should be able to pierce any tank that you're going up against. Now, the it's about 15K IC production cost, actually 16K. Let's go ahead and take a look at the medium tank template here. So you can see right off the bat, the soft attack rating is down by about 100, actually about 140. So that's not a trivial amount. And what you're gaining here is a little bit of armor. The piercing is only 68, but that's going to be able to pierce anything. So that's a non factor. Heart attack is there. Uh, the heart attack rating should be about the same. Let's take a look here. Okay, the heart attack rating is about 100 less. Um, so it's going to be able to go through enemy armor a little less. And then the supply use is 3.6. So it's about 1.3 less than the heavy tank. And then it's going to be about 300 IC costs less to make this division template. The speed is basically the same, and you have to remember that the heavy tanks only have a 91% reliability. Um, the reliability of the heavy tank is 88% and 92% on the medium tank. So overall, uh, you're going to conserve a lot of IC cost with this template, and you're going to have less stats with this template. Is there a big defense difference so if you're being attacked you know which which one is going to perform better like they're they're going to be basically the same but on the offense is where the heavy tank division template really shines because the base stats are so much better or the amount of attack that you're doing is going to be so much better let's say that there is a 25% because Rommel gives the armor division attack 15 
percent attack rating and halder gives an additional division attack rating of 10 percent. so that's 25 percent difference there so people sleep on this so let's go ahead for the medium so we're going to go 0.25 times 609 so that increases the soft attack 152 now let's take a look at the heavy tank division 0.25 times 739 so 184 so you're going to get an extra 20 percent based on germany's military staff advisors there that is not going to be reflected in here so the the attack ratings of this tank template are even going to be that much better that's going to be it for this video uh you could pause the video go back and pause the video and copy the templates i made the templates incredibly simple can you do better are there better multiplayer templates yes but typically for single player this is like optimized as much as i possibly could tell me in the comment section below if you are a heavy tank guy or gal or if you are a medium tank guy or gal and share your designs below thanks guys and i'll see you on the next one